I'm here at 2104 28th Ave Southwest. Uh, Endeavor Developments is building this gorgeous attached two-story home. I was going to chat with Stephen Ernest today just talking about the importance of having heat on in the basement for construction and we're going to go inside under the tarps here and chat with them and uh, get a sense of why this is important for construction. Okay, here I am with Ernest of Endeavor Developments. Uh, he was sharing with me how important it is to keep heat on while under construction in the winter months and point out a couple other features here. Ernest? Hi, yeah, so what we've done here is we've uh, tarped off the basements um, to keep the cold air out and we have propane heaters in here so we can have the interior temperature of the basement above freezing um, so we don't have any worries about frost getting in under the footings and having a lot of heaving and sort of structural issues when spring come, springtime comes and everything starts to settle. Okay. We should eliminate all those issues by having heat here the whole time. So, so if a house is built and the heat's not running in the basement, like what can happen? Well, you just have potential for frost to get below the footings okay. and then having the foundation literally rise. Okay. And then once you build everything and then, you know, springtime comes, that frost melts and the whole house settles. So when you see a lot of these sort of settling issues that happen, mm -hmm. that's a lot of the time is the cause okay. because there's a bit of frost below the, uh, below the footings. Is running a heater, is it anything city code requirement? Nope, there's, there's nothing like that. I mean, they don't require you to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's more just we're sort of doing our due diligence yeah. to ensure that we build the best product possible. Sure, right on. Okay. What else? You were going to show us something here with some Yeah, one of the things we've done here um, with the outside is we've taken our down pipes from the roof uh, we've hard piped it into the basement here and then they spill into this rain barrel. Um, what we're going to have in this rain barrel is going to be one main pump to pump out the excess water and then a backup pump as well. In case that first pump fails, you don't have a basement that suddenly floods. So yeah, all the outside uh, excess water will go into this barrel, be pumped out across and into the storm sewer. So then we'll not have all these down pipes and stuff around your house to keep everything on the outside as clean and as streamlined as possible. Does this thing just turn on when the water is in it? Yeah, there'll be, a, there'll be a float in here, and as soon as the water gets to a certain level, the pump will kick in automatically and send the water out. And these are called weeping towels, right? And they yeah, so yeah, so the same, same thing all around the perimeter of the house, all the weeping tile and gravel. Um, they come into the basement and again, built into the rain barrel. So really, we eliminate all the excess water around the footing. So we should never have any sort of leaky basements or any, any of those issues. This should keep everything uh, nice and dry down here. Cool. All right. Well, it's really good to see a house sometimes before the concrete's in and before the walls are in so you can see what these things are because uh, otherwise uh, we all often don't have that opportunity with new homes. So great. Thanks, Ernest. You're welcome. Okay. All right, Ernest, thanks very much for taking the time no to problem. share some of these details no with problem. us. And um, it's a pleasure. here we are up on the top floor of this property. Again, I'm going to create a link at ramagegroup.tv to see the details of this home under construction. Check out that view.